The connection breath is a great exercise for integrating the deep core and the pelvic floor. This is a breathing exercise that we can take with us all throughout pregnancy and we're gonna practice postpartum as well to heal the diastasis recti and get the pelvic floor and the core functioning together as a unit again. So we just need to be aware that the core is not just the abdominal muscles and not just the pelvic floor muscles either. The core actually starts from the diaphragm, our breathing muscle that's in the bottom of the rib cage. And then we have the abdominal muscles with all our deep layers of abdominal muscles, the back muscles that are supporting along the spine and the pelvic floor muscles as well. So we have this whole unit that we're going to train through the breath to help us keep stability of the core, pelvic floor, the pelvis, and the low back. This will help us to be a bit more comfortable in pregnancy and also train the core and the pelvic floor to be able to labor and birth a baby when that time comes. So the connection breath seated is what we're going to show as Amanda is quite far along in pregnancy. This could be okay on her back, but I'm more comfortable with her in this position because we're going to be doing a number of breaths. So we're seated on something stable and supportive. I want Amanda to pull the flesh away from her bum so she can feel her sit bones rooted into the bench. She almost makes a triangle shape with her sit bones and the perineum. So the perineum is the area around the vagina and we want to feel that cushiony connective tissue, not her pubic bone and not her tailbone. She's just directly on sit bones, feeling the perineum. If she was on the tailbone, her lower back would be tucked under and flattened. So we don't wanna do that. We don't wanna tuck the tailbone under, but we also don't want her rocked onto her pubic bone way far forwards. So we're somewhere in the middle of that. Nice little curve and arch through that lumbar spine. And then I really like this, her feet are walked out in front of her and knees are slightly wide. So this gives a nice position for the pelvis, good position for that baby that's growing in the belly and baby's not falling back inwards and down towards her sacrum. So Amanda is going to take one hand on the side of her rib cage, one hand low on the belly. We do this so we can feel some feedback. I want Amanda to know that she's gonna send her breath into her hands. So on her inhale breath, she is going to feel this inflation in her core and her pelvic floor. And on the exhale, it's a deflation. So inhale breath, we breathe into the hands. We feel this expansion sideways through the ribs, gentle rise of the belly, Exhale, rib cage comes back down and in, belly comes back down and in slightly. So as you get further along in pregnancy, it might feel tricky to actually get a nice breath happening it's because the diaphragm can be up a little bit higher than it normally would. There's not a lot of space for it to relax and release downwards. So we're just gonna try our best. Inhale, breathe into the hands, exhale, soften and come down. Now, as Amanda gets more comfortable with this pattern of breathing, we're gonna start to send the breath more to the pelvic floor as well. So I really like that we can feel the sit bones here. So we can feel each sit bones. That space between the sit bones and around the perineum is our pelvic floor. So it's a network of connective tissues and muscles, and we want to train good tone through that part of the body. So as Amanda inhales, she's going to feel almost a softening and this release of that space between her sit bones. As she exhales, it's almost like there's a bit more tension in that space between her sit bones, her pelvic floor. So we get this inhale to inflate, feel the sit bones widen and soften. Exhale, slightly more tension between those sit bones. So we'll do one more like this, inhale, Exhale, drawing back in. Perfect, so we'll get Amanda just to relax for a second. So this connection breath, we're gonna train it all through pregnancy as such and post-pregnancy as well. Inhale to inflate, exhale to deflate. Now we can add on an extra pelvic floor lift or contraction that you might have been taught as a Kegel. We're gonna do it slightly differently. 
because with a Kegel, we're taught to just contract, contract, contract the pelvic floor. We actually don't want to gain all that tension and just hold the tension in the pelvic floor. We want to train the pelvic floor to also soften and release, which is what we're doing in the inhale breath. So if we get the hands back on the belly, we do this nice inhale to release the tension in the floor. Exhale, now we can think about doing just gentle pelvic floor lift. We lift the vagina and the anus up and in to the body slightly. This is about 25, 30% of our maximum muscle contraction. This is not 100% contraction and hold those muscles tight. It's just gentle. As she does this, I wanna make sure that her glutes are staying really relaxed. She's not tensing her bum, perfect. She's not bouncing up and down off the bench. So she just takes this inhale to relax. Exhale, gentle lift up and in. She'll feel a deep tension in her abdominal muscles right between her hip bones as well. Perfect, and we can relax there. Now, as you get further into the later stages of your pregnancy, I don't want you to do this extra pelvic floor contraction on the exhale breath. At this later stages of pregnancy, we want the pelvic floor to not be holding so much tension. It's probably under enough tension as it is right now, just trying to support the pelvis and the belly um, as that growing weight of the baby is pressing down. So let's practice releasing and relaxing tension in the pelvic floor to help us in birth when that is going to be a key component of getting the baby out. So this is our connection breath. We're gonna practice all through pregnancy and post-pregnancy to keep the core and the pelvic floor integrated and working as a unit to keep our body stable and strong.